and welcome back today we're gonna bring old reliable out this poor thing has been stuck in this shed for over a month hasn't done any mowing in a while and I'm gonna go ahead and mow a couple yards with it because you know of course you gotta keep them running now so this is a 17 year old mower uh, I'll show it better kind of stuck here I'll show it better when I'm I've got it out but it is a 17 horse let me try to get over here. Okay, so it is a uh, two-cylinder, 17 horse. I believe the engine is the Kawasaki 500V. And um, it does have a lot of hours. There's no hour meter on it, but it, it very likely has way over 2,000, probably 3,000 hours. And so, you know, it's got some, it, it leaks a tiny bit of oil and it has some smoky startups and so on but it's all forgivable it runs like a top you'll see in a moment so until something major happens to it I'm very happy to have it just like it is so I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film the startup because sometimes I get one of those big smoky startups and um, what that is you know all mowers will do that every once in a while even a brand new mower and what that is, that's just a tiny, this is what I'm guessing, uh, just a tiny little bit of oil makes it down the vi valve guide and into the combustion chamber. And sometimes it's a lot of smoke, but you never see the oil level go down. So you know that it's a, uh, it's just a drop of oil, really, that takes a long time to burn off. And so it makes a crazy amount of smoke. And I'm trying to capture that. This one does it about once a day uh, under heavy use. And so I'm going to try to catch that uh, with the GoPro and maybe even in slow motion. See if I can catch it doing that. So let's start this up and back it out. Okay, so yeah, that was a lot of smoke, but I mean, it's been in there for a couple of months, and it's 17 years old, give it a break. Anyway, I just, I'm going to start mentioning safety issues, like for example, you saw me walking into there with all that smoke, and that's carbon monoxide. I did take a deep breath when I was out here, and then I walked in there, backed the mower out, I had plenty of time, did not breathe while I was in there. Just want everybody to know that. So anyway, it's not going to smoke like that for the rest of the day. It, um... It will actually it stopped doing that already. So let's go put it on the trailer and uh, go mow. Okay, so before I load it up, I just wanted to film this scene right here. Um, what's been happening is a few people have been confusing these two mowers, thinking one is the other and the other is the one. Anyway, uh, I never actually showed them both in the same place at the same time, and I can see the confusion. When you look at them side by side, they look very similar to each other. And if you're looking at one without the other, you might think that one is the other. But no, nope, two separate mowers. One is um, hydraulic, the other is belt drive. But this one right here, this is the Craftsman. It's a 33 and this one's a 48. And you know what? Somebody was asking me, um, so this one's not strong enough to pull a sulky. Actually, it is quite strong. It's absolutely as strong as this one and it never slips. Um, I've actually pulled, I pulled this one when the belt broke on the hydro pumps 
I pulled this one across a large property with this one. And I've also pulled out one of the 52 inch mowers. I pulled the Great Dane out of the mud with this mower. A tow chain and everything. So it's very, very strong. It would definitely pull a Selkie with no problem. Only issue is that it's not what you're thinking. These pistol grips are not left turn, right turn. This one, um, like that one engages the blade. This one engages the propulsion. And then so the turning that happens is really you turning it this way or that way. But if you were on a sulky, I believe you could do that. Just have your hand on both of them and just pull it this way or pull it that way. So, um, yeah, more than one person saying try it. I'm not sure exactly how I would mount the sulky to it because it's not, it's not set up for it. But I will figure a way and I will do that because I'm curious myself. Uh, especially if I can rig up a quick release because it has a mounting plate that goes on the back of the mower and you don't want to change that back and forth but this has a quick release, the main sulky. If there's a way you can move that from one mower to the other, gosh, might be able to mow backyards without having to walk. So I'll be working on that. That's a work in progress and I'll see what I can do with that. But Guaranteed, even if I just have to string it up with a bunch of rope, I will film myself at some point being pulled on Sulky with that mower. So anyway, let me load this up and load that up so that we can find... And I'm sorry about talking so much. I, uh, there's things to explain and, you know, this, my channel, I really want it to be something to look at, not someone to look at or someone to listen to. So if I'm talking too much, just let me know and I'll try to just cut grass, but otherwise, you know, it's hard to share things without talking. Anyway, let's load this up. Okay, so here we go. Had to air up a tire a little bit, getting ready to mow. Just get the camera set up and we will mow.
look at it. Isn't that adorable? I'm trying to get away. Anyway, I left it running because I like the way it sounds. Just wanted to show over here in the ditch. Of course, I normally mow this with a 61 inch cheetah. Right here in the middle, you probably saw that. The stance on the cheetah is much wider. And so the center part of that wasn't quite getting cut at the right level. So when I took this in there, it did cut it. And, um, well, cut a little too much off. But it still looks pretty good. And over here, there's just a slight difference in the um, cutting height. But still looks really good. So, before it completely gets away from me, uh, just to kind of keep this vlog a little shorter, I don't think I'm going to be filming the backyard, and I will just be filming this mower since it's kind of the subject of this vlog. So, the next scene will probably be the next yard. So guys, listen to this. I'm going to engage the blade. I'm going to get, okay, way over here. I'm going to engage the blades at uh, total idle. The throttle's all the way down. Listen to how smooth this is. That's something. Just a well-oiled machine. This is going to last 10, 20 more years. Well, maybe not. Maybe 10 more years. Okay, so there it is all done. You know, the mower still does a great job. It's really the yard itself hasn't quite come around to summer yet. But they will. And you know, boy, I'm really getting used to this mower again. It's not, I'm not going to use it very often just because the mileage is so high on it. But it is still definitely a member of the team. I would, I'd be positive it would be able to mow all week long with no problem. But, you know, for how much longer. So, it's the backup mower. But, I've got one more for it here today. So let's go mow that one.
Okay, so excuse this shakiness for a moment. I just wanted to share how I usually film. I keep a camera on the tripod. I use the tripod as a selfie stick. As you can see, I've got this one taped off. This one forces, this one's sort of broken. But it keeps it with the mast up and the legs on the first. Um, this is, I like to keep this one exactly like this and then I have another one that can go lower or higher or whatever. This is the one I use for all other shots. This is the one I use for most things. And I uh, also got a selfie stick for the GoPro. But this is what this camera looks like. I will, I can't show it next to the GoPro because I'm using it. But I'll show you in a moment how it fits in your pocket. And you can see here, oops, it's powering off. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, I wanted to show. Okay. So, it'll come back on. Yeah, I just wanted to show how we're on, we're in direct sunlight, and as you can see, you can still see this display, which is awesome. So, hold on a second, I'm going to switch, I'm going to put this on the tripod so I can show you something. Okay, so this is how big it is, and I just wanted to show you, I think I'm, I'm guessing at where I am here. So, it is about twice the size of the GoPro. But it weighs, I think it weighs less, honestly. But I wanted to show you the most important feature. Well, it's got a kind of a neat lens thing. But that's not it. Watch this. Ta da! And now that, well, we'll let the car go by. That is the best feature. It's a very, very good camera, and with all the functionality but it also fits in your pocket very important to me anyway moving on Hey, check it out. I'm on TV. I'm kidding. Anyway, so that wraps it up for this uh, episode with Old Reliable. And boy, it is reliable and old. Um, I'm going to be filming again with it on Thursday. I have um, I have actual permission to, well, to uh, film a yard. And uh, so I should be able to get some really, really good angles uh, considering full permission. Gosh, I've never had that before. I've never asked. Anyway, uh, I want to do a shout out. I want to start doing the shout outs at the end here. Um, shout out today goes to. That is a really good channel. He's got, um, the, what is it? Uh, Gravely. And it's, boy, you got to hear it, this Gravely, the way it sounds. There's just something about it. I just love watching those videos. That's really, really good channel. Uh, and I'll put the link down below. So now that you're done watching this one, you can go watch that one. So have a good one, everybody. Later.